tawazani tawazani uh, we are gathered here ngono mkhubulwane ngo mama wethu sonke ngono mkhubulwane who is who happens to actually be the moon in in our spirituality that is where our lives and the cycles of our lives are actually mainly controlled so must kuma ngano mkhubulwane we actually really speak of our mama so we also must kuma ngene nyedi ngenyanga we also speak about our mama the cycle of the moon the menstrual cycle the reproductive cycle in the woman to be a 28 day cycle from gucala kwayo nekuphetha kwayo so that is actually the the ruling energy in our lives inyanga makhuluma ngenyanga ngikhuluma ngemonth and ngikhuluma ngenyanga ngikhuluma ngemoon that is the same thing the moon in our language is called inyanga and the month is also called inyanga the month and the moon is one cycle when we go back to the african calendar we will see that there are 13 months and those months were based on the moon so that is why if we go back and we work according to the calendar later yet we will work on 13 months this because our calendar is based on the cycle of the moon when we look at at uh, ritualing i like to say that there is nothing like african spirituality the only reason we call it african spirituality is because of how we express spirituality in the african context and that is why then we end up with african spirituality but spirituality is spirituality and the and the rules are basically the same everybody knows of the four elements and here we are in front of me just to simplify it we have fire we have the earth we have water and we have air in our air glass has nothing but it it looks like it has nothing but it has air which is what we have all around us also the snake this now is an element of what we is termed african spirituality this is how we express it this is how bokoko betray expressed it so i will always have snake because I'm a practitioner of traditional healing. On another day I will teach you how to actually make snake. It is it's something to ground us. It grounds us in Bangoma. It also elevates us because it is made of plants. This is grounding. I have impepo. This again relates to spirituality expression in the African context. I have a candle. I have a incense stick because of of the scents and uh of, of the the fragrance. We love fragrances. we uh, our ancestors also are people that are known to appreciate good fragrances i have oranges so if you follow kemetic uh, philosophy the color for the season is orange also in nature now the abundant fruit is the orange so that is why i bring it here i actually got it from the tree out here lakaya we have a tree an orange tree and we have a lot of oranges so we have a bamba harvest so here i bring it to my altar to not only just to offer it to them but to also to get blessings for it so that we when we consume it it has been blessed so that that is what that is about i want to go back to things making sense to you do not do things that do not make sense to you things you have to own this thing so that you are able to set your intentions because ritualing is is not just it is really is about intentions and getting your intentions out there to the universe or in our case when we do it today getting it out there to our mama unom kubulwane which is the moon so i bring my oranges before her it's a it's for, it's a it's gratitude you know how nature feeds us it feeds us the things that we need at the time in this time sine mikuhlane imikhukula kwethu nemikuhla is would be the cold and the, uh, the cold and flu it will be things that at its chest infections because of the season because of the cold and nature has provided us with a natural remedy which is the oranges in this time we also have here mhlonyan this is a natural remedy that we have been provided by umshaba for respiratory infections it's been used for ages by our ancestors i'm bringing it here onto my altar not only because it's the season for the healing it's because also of the pandemic that we're having and because as a healer it's not just to only to heal me and my family it's one thing that is being used uh and patients are wanting a lot of are needing a lot of in the season so i'm bringing it here to my altar to thank again unom kubulani for pro provision for it so this is this and that i'm bringing them before the full moon for the blessing that these two things are i need currently because they are going to be used to heal in this period do not worry if you do not have any of these things i know that this everybody is going to have because these are natural things so do not worry about the fact that now you have to get yourself an orange candle you have to get yourself uh 
as you have to go get yourself uh, in PayPal, for instance, you can pasha and you can bonga or you can have your ritual without any of these things. This is really about setting your intentions and getting yourself right with yourself. You need to know what it is that you are setting your intentions for. And that is what makes the difference. You can pretend that this is an orange candle if you want to have an orange candle. If you don't have, don't have incense, that is fine. You get on your business without none of the props. You don't need the props to get to yourself, the God in yourself, to get to your ancestors. You do not need props. You need to know your intentions and you need to know who it is that you are wanting to be talking to or who the spirit is that you are seeking to connect with. How, how do we start this? First off, this is the end of the cycle. So this is here about release. This is we are releasing the, the energies and the influences of the past season. This is where we are at. We are releasing, we're letting things go things that would have been bad, things that would have affected us negatively, we are here to let them go. So we come to Umam, Umam, Kubulwane, Umam Nom Kubulwane to help us to send things off that we have had enough of this, this I want to go at this point, this must actually go, I want this out of my life. So that is, actually, we are closing the cycle and we are I'm going to speak mainly, uh, I know a lot of people want to be setting intentions. The intention at this point for today's Mpasho would be to let things go, to let everything go, to, to look at starting afresh, to look at starting, uh, to look at how we actually let things go. Because letting go also is a process. You're not going to just say, I'm going to let things go today and they are going to go. So we'll take it with the moon as well this now today we're setting the intention to to get out of the space that we have been in more than anything because we we are coming from this lockdown situation there's so much has happened because we've all had to deal with just a new life a life that we're not used to and we have all had different experiences so with this full moon we're letting go uh, you, everyone, you know what you want to let go of, so that is what you're going to be letting go of. That is going to be your prayer. But before we pray, before you start praying, it is good to ground yourself. Uh, and, and the ways to ground ourselves as well would be, these things here are good for grounding. Yeah. All of them. Because the energies that come from the fires are amazing for grounding. You will sit in front of a fire, it will, you will find that you are releasing a whole lot of energies from just being, from just the healing qualities of the fire. Water, beautiful healing qualities. I would say one thing that is accessible to a lot of us is, is a bath, a simple bath. Run yourself a nice bath, uh, get into the bath and sit in there and meditate. Let the water also speak to the water. If you don't have anything to add to the water, that is perfect. Speak to the water. Water is a healer. It's a healer on its own. Speak to your water as you are running it. When you get in, be speaking to the water, sit inside your water bath, into your bath, and imagine it washing away, not just your body, but everything that you want to let go of. Write down the things that you want to let go of. Imagine that you're speaking to your mother. All the things that you want to let go of all the things that uh, you want endings of to end in your life write them down light that piece of paper set it alight and then all those things that you want out of your life remember it is always about intention that is what ritual is about it's intention 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 mm -hmm.